Hi, in this video, I'm going to explain how to model sleeve, which is a part of sleeve and cartridge joint using SOLIDWORKS. The dimensions of the sleeve are given in this slide. Let's model the sleeve now. Go to new, select part and click on OK. Select the front plane. You can make it uh, normal too so that uh, the plane will be normal to the screen. Go to sketch tab. Click on circle. Select the center point and move the cursor to an appropriate place. The radius can be around 30 mm. Click on. Here you can make uh, the dimension as 30 mm. Later, using a smart dimension, you can uh, change this dimension too. I give you a 30 mm as the radius. Now, second circle, click the middle button, I mean, click the center, center point. Then click somewhere around uh, 15 millimeter. Click on give here 15 millimeter. You can check the dimensions as well. 60 millimeter as the diameter here, 30 millimeter as the diameter. Click on OK. Select the sketch one, go to features and click on extruded bars or base. Under direction one, click here and select the mid plane. So that the plane, the front plane is in the middle of the object. Now we give here 166 millimeter the total length is 160 millimeter of which 83 millimeter is allotted to one side another 83 millimeter on the other side click on ok the part is generator now select the right plane Make it perpendicular to the screen. Go to sketch. Draw, I mean, select line and draw the line. First, let me draw a vertical line. Then we draw a horizontal line of about 37 millimeter another line about 35 millimeter and we connect the ends now we'll uh, change the dimensions click on small dimensions click over here change it to 37 millimeter now the bottom dimension click on the line and you give here 35 millimeter here 2 mm is uh, reduced from uh, 37 as there is a taper of 1 is to 30 now this dimension would be 60 mm no need to change it it is a uh, you know when we gave the dimension from here to here it is uh, you know already defined so we need not over define it one more dimension we re require is the distance from here to here which should be 25 so select this point and then this point the dimension now is uh, 27.06 will make it as 25 millimeter 
Now the sketch is over. Click on OK. You can even uh, see how it looks like. Right. So it is somewhere here. Now we'll uh, go to features. Click on extrude cut. You need to select the sketch. Give here, okay, first, uh, okay, the direction one uh, should be a uh, mid plane. And we give here six millimeter as the dimension. Click on, okay. See here, there is a hole made. All right. Now we need to apply some filler so that this will be this edges will be curved in order to do that select the edges first this is the first edge now by rotating we can select the remaining edges while uh, selecting the edges press control so that uh, more than one line will be selected Similarly, we have to also select the bottom edges. One. Three. And four. Okay. So there are eight edges selected. Four at the upper side, four at the bottom side. Now we'll uh, go to Fillet option feature. The fillet is here. Click on fillet. Our edges are already selected. The items to fillet are uh, listed here. Now we give the fillet radius. The fillet radius should be 3 millimeter. Alright. You can see the preview as well. Okay, click on full preview so it shows how it will look uh, after applying this uh, operation so it looks good now click on ok all right fine now we need uh, a similar fillet sorry now we need a similar uh, you know slot on the other side as well we can you know mirror it so that it can be created now we have to first uh, select this it has two features fillet as well as cut text tool so we select both by uh, pressing control now go to mirror option available here click on features to mirror are fillet one and cut extrude we have already selected now we need to select a mirror face or mirror plane we can select the mid plane that is uh, the front plane so that it can be mirrored in the opposite direction to select that uh, plane we go here and you can click on this Right. Now the preview shows it will be, you know, uh, copied here. Click on OK. 
right the required features are generated and as a final final step we need a small uh, fillet at this edge and opposite edge here as well so we'll select uh, this edge and the opposite edge by pressing control button right control key we have selected both edges now we'll once again uh, click on fillet this time we can uh, give uh, a small uh, radius let's say one millimeter click on okay that's all the part is ready thank you